we're asked to determine dz dt, or the derivative of z, with respect to t, given z equals x times e raised to the power of 2y, x equals t cubed, and y equals negative 3 plus 4t. So notice how z is a function of x and y, and then both x and y are functions of t. Before we determine dz dt, though, I'd like to take a look at this graphically to better understand what we're finding when we find dz dt, which would be a function of t. So here's the graph of our surface, and we have this purple point here, which I'm going to animate from t equals 0 to t equals 1. Remember, both x and y are functions of t. So from t equals 0 to t equals 1, the point would take this path here. We're determining the instantaneous rate of change of z with respect to t, which we can think of as the change of height with respect to t. So when we find a value of dz dt using t values from 0 to 1, we'd be determining the instantaneous rate of change of the height along this path on the surface. Now going back to our work, again, because z is a function of x and y, and both x and y are functions of t, to find dz dt, we'll apply the chain rule given below, where dz dt is equal to the partial derivative of z with respect to x times dx dt plus the partial derivative of z with respect to y times dy dt. So we have dz dt is equal to, again, the partial derivative of z with respect to x. So we'll differentiate z with respect to x, treating y as a constant. And because the derivative of x with respect to x would be equal to 1, our partial derivative with respect to x would be 1 times e to the 2y, or just e to the 2y. And then we have times dx dt. The derivative of x with respect to t would just be 3t squared. And then we have plus the partial derivative of z with respect to y. So now we'll differentiate z again with respect to y, treating x as a constant. And because the derivative of e to the 2y with respect to y would be e to the 2y times 2, the partial derivative of z with respect to y would be x times e to the 2y times 2. And then we have times dy dt. The derivative of y with respect to t would just be positive 4. Let's go ahead and simplify. So here we'd have 3t squared e to the 2y plus, here we'd have 8x e to the 2y. Now we're not done here. Notice how dz dt should be a function of t, and right now we have dz dt in terms of t, x, and y. So now we need to substitute t cubed for x and negative 3 plus 4t for y. So we'd have 3t squared times e raised to the power of 2 times y is negative 3 plus 4t. And then we have plus 8x, and x is t cubed, times e raised to the power of 2y, which is again 2 times negative 3 plus 4t. For the last step, we'll go and distribute here and here. So we have dz dt is equal to 3t squared times e raised to the power, this would be negative 6 plus 8t, or 8t minus 6. And then we have plus 8t cubed times e raised to the power of, again, 8t minus 6. So again, if we were to evaluate, so again, if we were to evaluate dz dt, and let's say for any value of t between 0 and 1, it's going to give us the instantaneous rate of change of z with respect to t, or the change in height with respect to t. So going back to the graph one more time, again, just looking at the interval from t equals 0 to 1, the value of dz dt is going to give us the change in height at a given value of t from 0 to 1 along this path. And one more thing before we go. Another way to find dz dt would be to write z as a function of t by substituting t cubed for x and negative 3 plus 4t for y. Notice how if we did that, it would give us z as a function of t, and then we could find dz dt without applying the chain rule. I hope you found this helpful.